Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today we are once again playing with paint and once again playing with kitchen utensils. How does it get any better than this? So today I am playing with this amazingly cool um, Japanese Chinese steamer thing. <laughs> um, so this sits, it's got another lid and it's got another piece underneath and you stick, stick it in your wok and it steams vegetables or whatever, wontons or whatever. And I've had it for about six years and never used it. So as I was hunting through my kitchen to see what I could create. This said me, I'm bored of sitting on top of the fridge. Okay, come play with me then. So we're going to do a white background this time. Last time I used these all metallics, it was a black background. This time we're going white. And my attempt is to just pour through that center line. So we will see how that goes. <laughs> and see what that creates as well. So we've got... Reeves Acrylic Silver, Decor Art Dazzling Metallics, Peacock Pearl, Decor Art Dazzling Metallics Ice Blue, and Berry. So, what are we going to do? We're going to start off with a, um, a base, a, what do we call it? canvas that'll do <laughs> wasn't the word I was looking for I just realized now that we're on video that's not actually high enough so let's lift you up a bit and now you can see the canvas yay so we're going to start with a base um, I use from from Bunnings I use the spring interior exterior acrylic white um, mixed down with flow troll and water and when you leave it it separates it gets this oily film on the top so you really need to stir that in really well before using it um, so it's all been mixed with, all of my paints are mixed with flow troll and water. Somebody asked me roughly what sort of percentage I do, and I, I really just do it. Um, but approximately, it's like two parts paint to one part water. No, two parts paint to one part flow troll, and then just water to the right consistency. So let's... Get the rest of that out of there. Probably going to be some lumps in that, which I can see already. Look at those pretty lumps. Um, one. So that was the bottom of a mix. And this is actually the last of my first tin. So I bought a four litre tin. Um, let's see if that's enough. So the target with this is to uh, have all one batch so that it all flows the same. The target with this is to create, start off a, a, something to um, make sure you've got paint over the entire canvas. That's one, one target with it. Another target is to help the paint that you're putting on to flow with ease across the canvas and not get all 
caught up on the dry canvas. Um, here's my lid, it's now covered in paint. How's it getting any better than that? Oh, I'm not sure I like this new container. I just use whatever containers I've got in the house that I've used, washed out well. I usually wash them, wash them by hand and then also put them through the dishwasher and um, that tends to get the residues of anything that was in them off. You really don't want anything tainting your paint or adding things that will mold, go moldy or <laughs> that wouldn't be cool at all. Um, so just making sure that all the sides are covered and it looks reasonably even on the top and there's no lumps. Awesome. Right. So, when I do this, I always have my canvas with push pins in the corners. And what that does is it lifts it up so that everything that drips off just stays off. That's the target anyway. Um, by using push pins, you get to um, the all made the same well if you're using the same brand all the time anyway um, they're made the same height so if you push it right the way into the plastic on all of the corners then you pretty much have a good sense that you have a flat surface so as long as your table is flat you're good to go those last bits out. Just washed my hands and now I'm dipping my fingers in again. Alright, let's do this. So, it's a rectangle and I'm going to put the lines you guys can probably see if i'm centering this better or not okay it's gonna get tilted anyway so there we go all right let's get playing with paint what color should we start with guys we've got not got a lot of the dark blue Heaps of the peacock, heaps of the silver, and heaps of the berry. So, I'm going to start with the berry. I have <laughs> resin. Um, I have a couple of drops of silicon in each of the paints. And what I've learned from doing this in the past is to always put your hand under the tin when moving it across your negative space. So it's all running through quite nicely and it's just going to be whatever pattern shows up in the end is what we're after. Now with this it is completely encased in 
the circle so the paint can't escape until we lift it up it's not going to seep out like it has with other ones I think we've got a plane that's practicing it's flying seems to be twittering around a bit I'm not doing these in perfect order. I am following the energy, going with which word the one yells out the loudest. And I've got a fly that keeps landing on my knee. Not cool, fly. Shoot, fly, don't bother me. All right, that's the end of our dark blue. Gonna go with some more pink. Actually, I think that's actually enough. I'm gonna let it just. Mm. Is that enough peacock? Yes. Is it enough berry? No, is it enough silver? Yes. Okay, so berry, where do you want to be? Just in the center? Or another stripe right across? Or part way, part way. All right. I'm looking down into, let's zoom you in, see what you can see. Um, down in there there is it's, it's pretty much filled up the entire ring there's places where it hasn't quite hit the ring um but you can't see that sorry all right are you ready for the big reveal i'm gonna Uh, grab something to put under it as I whisk it over to it's not quite big enough whisk it over to the edge because I don't want droplets across there um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. here we go so I'm going to pick it up put this underneath and then move Straight into the sink. Here we go. Wow! That's cool! Oh, I love it! <gasps> Yay! Oh my god! Guys, check it out! Oh! <gasps> it's so pretty! You go little swirlies from where I picked it up, but <gasps> oh my goodness me. That's so pretty! So, so pretty. I gotta take a photo of that. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So, I, I'm gonna torch it before I move it. There's definitely air bubbles in there. like to know where the silicon is though all right let's start stretching actually wondering whether to even stretch it widthwise or just take it lengthwise that's so cool
Sorry about going quiet, but I'm just absolutely mesmerized by these colors. I do like that berry color. Super pretty. going to go wide a little bit. Did you notice how I um, kind of brought the bulk of the paint back into the middle, allowed it to just set on. that plane again. I think somebody's having lessons. Now, I actually get that I need to pull it right off the end down here. But before I do, I'm going to learn from my son. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that I learned from him. Grabbing this little what it size is it? Four inch triangle canvas. If I can get the plastic off with my gloves on. So if you want to know what that reference about learning from my son is about, check out video 100. Um, he painted with me and what he did was he painted, did a spiral pour on a big canvas and then when he poured off the extra paint he poured it onto a smaller canvas so that's exactly what I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna Pull it sideways a bit. You know what? I like that. I really, really like that. going to rest that there and with a tin under here just so it's just got a little bit of height and we'll just see how much of it chooses to run back down again but here's what got created where are you and I'm really liking that but we didn't put any white on them to start with Very weird. 
to keep this well away from the other painting. see what I'm doing? Not really. Sorry about that. Let me just tilt the camera a bit. Do, 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 do. Nope, that was not a clean finger. Damn. Bum. So... It's a little bit complex when you're dealing with multiple canvases, to be honest. It's one of those things that you <laughs> want to keep making sure that you're checking back in on the original canvas. to create something magical on the secondary canvas as well. reckon. I'm gonna put that up here. Uh, right over here so you can still see it. Move that so it gets some light. And I don't think the paint on the big one's going anywhere. It's done its dash. You know what? I thought that this was going to be let me straighten you up again. I thought that this was going to be the top, but now it actually looks almost like a a, um, <laughs> a very interesting coloured bee high bee hangy thing, you know, when they're in the wild. Um, so. I'm going to take that off there, set that back down, and I just realised that I don't have pins on this canvas, so I'm going to sit it on top of that tin. Alright. I like it. I like it a lot, just the way it is. So I'm going to take my gloves off. I don't drip all over everyone. Um, and I'm just going to do a bit of torching. I would say most of the silicon has already risen to the top on this one, but willing to be surprised. Coming 
through in some areas. I'm just staying well away. I'm not cooking the paint. I am just warming it from a distance. Okay, so here's my torch. That's where it gets hot on my hand. And that's oh, what's going on? And that's kind of how far away I am from it as well. Now, for those of you that get cracked paintings, please, 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 please cover them with a box. I am. Um, I cover all my paintings at the moment. It's hot, hot, hot here when it's not raining. Um, oh, silicon came out on that one. Um, really, really, when it's hot outside, you need to keep your paintings cool enough. Look at that. Um, because basically what you're wanting to do is to dry all the paint at once. Otherwise, the top creates a film and the bottom is still wet. And then as that dries and shrinks, it cracks the top. So the target is to cover it, create a space where it's not going to have huge amounts of breeze blowing over it because that can also bring dust as well. Um, and the other thing, a lot of people are like, oh, I hope that doesn't all run off. Um, I have my paints quite thick, guys. So um, compared to some of the people I've seen on doing videos, um, my paints are quite thick. So, let's have a close-up. So down here where it's poured off, um, we have got some cells show up in that last heat run. Which is quite pretty. And then most of this is just the way it's dripped through. Got a bit of bleeding on the edges which is super pretty. I like that a lot. It is doing a little bit of that um, powdered look but not too much and there's my little swirl from lifting the thing off. Um, so we all of these are metallics. This is going to dry again as one of those amazing metallic magics. Look at this. It's stunning. Through that center we've got that large dark blue which I'm really pleased about because I like that. So there you are guys. That's the big one. And let's take you over to the little one. It's got cells and swirls. I might just dribble a little bit more white paint here and allow it to run down and get rid of that blob down the side. But it's cute. Super cute. Better than it running off onto the bot onto the ground and making an utter mess. Oh look, we've got a got a bug committing suicide. Can you see him? How does it get any better than that? At least you didn't commit suicide in the painting that's been done before. It's another reason why you, um, why covering your paintings is a good idea, guys, because the bugs can't get to them and go swimming. Bugs seem to think that paint is a good place to swim. I'm not sure where they got that from, who told them, 
but uh, certainly wasn't me. Well, I'm super pleased with my um, kitchen steamer, my wok steamer, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me the real name. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it a lot. So thanks so much for joining me. How much fun can you have today? Whether you're painting or doing whatever you're doing. Have fun. Bye-bye.